is good to be back in New York City. What's up? Who's got the first question? Yeah, for, uh, for Camaro, please. Uh, <laughs> for, for Camaro, please. Uh, fighting Colby obviously is a, a unique challenge, especially pre-fight. You know, the trash talk, everything you got to deal with. Second time around, I'm just kind of wondering how your mindset is, especially when he's, you know, throwing out drug accusations and things like that. I mean, are you able to get past it, or does it, does it make it personal for you? No, I love it. I, um, I've said it. I appreciate everything that he does, everything that he comes with. I love it because it's another challenge for me to get over. And, um, you know, at this point in life, at this point in my career, I look forward to those challenges. On Saturday night, you know, I'll do what I do best, and that's smash another challenge. Hey, Kamara, I, I know you don't like the guy personally, obviously, but do you agree with the assessment that he is the most difficult matchup for you, that he has the best style to compete with you? Do you, do you give him that? I wouldn't say the most difficult matchup. I would say that he is very, very talented. I give him, I, I give him props. You know, he's very, very talented. You know, he works hard and he comes to fight each and every time. But, like I've said before, in the era where he existed, he has to live with the fact that somebody was there that was better. And last one for you, Kamara. You've made it clear, right, that, that you don't have a lot of time left in this sport and, and you're not really planning on sticking around a whole lot longer. I'm just curious, have you put a date on that? And, and are there accomplishments that you want to get done before you call it a career? No, it's not necessarily that I, you know, I don't have a lot of time left. I'm saying I'm smart enough to know when to go out. Nice. Colby, if I could for you, please. Um, listen, you admitted that you were a little too emotional last time out, right? That that was the problem. I'm just curious how you, how you manage that, especially, especially against the guy that you clearly don't like. How do you manage those emotions on fight night to change the result this time around? John, you were getting real slick with me yesterday. You're a clickbait merchant. You were saying I was undeserving and didn't deserve to be up here. Well, guess what? You're he undeserving right. of getting an answer from me. He if you want right. an answer from me, get down and give me he 10 push-ups right. right now. Get on your hands and knees. What? You want a question? 10, 10 push-ups, flabby butt. <laughs> oh, Easy there, these killer. Years. Easy oh, there. All these years. Enunciate. Shut up, Marty. They didn't come to see you, bitch. Enunciate. MC. Easy there. Easy. Hey, Marty. Take is it your slow. Hey, hey, Marty. Breathe. Is your Count daddy the jailbird coming on Saturday Breathe. night? Breathe. I got to hook up with law enforcement. If you want me to call his parole officer, I'll make sure he can come on Saturday night. You want me to make sure? Yes. Damn hey. artist, man, I feel you, so bad for Ms. Could you Usman. please do that? Think about that. She's got a cheating ass son, and she's got a scammer ass husband. That must be shitty in that household. Oh, thank you. Could you please make that phone call? Please, I need him here to watch you get your face broken this time. What? The only thing that was broken is you broke your daddy out of jail. Oh, really? Okay, hey, why, did you, why did you go back to your corner hey, in the third the round? And what tell your hairline? corner, what I think my hairline? call's broken. Tell me what because you wanted hairline? them to save you. Tell me, hey, you wanted tell your me, coaches hey, to save you. Why are you going to be faking nut shots again? You wanted hey, them to save you. Hey, there ain't going to be two people you. in there fighting me on Saturday night. You ain't going to have Who Mark Who wanted Nuts. a way out? Mark Nuts O'Garter ain't going to save you tonight on Saturday night. Tonight or Saturday night? Which one is it? Hey, both of them. Let's go right now. Nah. Let's go right now. Let's all sit down. You now know you, you're not hey, going to do he shit. He needs to make sure his chemist like gets him right for Saturday night. And what Marty Juiceman, the CEO of EPO. Kobe, please Let's tell the people Brandon. why you went back to your corner in the third round and told your coaches, I think my jaw's broken. Please tell people you wanted why a way you out. Nut shot. The I kicked you in the living room. You're up. ready to you quit. You wanted your way out. You you're about man. to quit, bitch. I'm your daddy. You're a bitch. You were ready to quit. Why'd you fake a nut shot? Why were you faking an eye poke on the other eye? The camera can see you're a terrible actor, bro. Okay. You okay, were faking the other eye. That's truth. Can Look I answer you? Get the camera. You? Can I answer you? Yeah. Answer. Listen, if he's saying that I was faking this or faking that to get out of the fight, but I didn't. I stayed in the fight, and I broke your fucking jaw. You took a fake timeout. The only thing you broke is your daddy out of prison. Where's that jailbird at? Is he in the building? We need the scam artist here, just I'm, like his son. I'm waiting for you to make the phone call so he can be here on Saturday to watch you get your the other fucking eye broken. Uh, he, he's going to see you get your face broken on Saturday night. That's facts, Junior. 
Uh, it just hey, we saw the, the, the photos yesterday. What's all those injection marks around your stomach, bro? Man, those look bad, dude. I saw you with Gage. You look like shit, man. How many, dude, you can't cover the chemical imbalance in your body, bro. You got acne and craters all over your face and back, This is man. another grown it's man disgusting. up here talking about another grown man's body. Kobe, is that something you want to tell us? Disgusting. Oh, filthy you animal, man. want to come out of the closet and tell filthy us something? Filthy animal. Hey, the thing to do in New York City is throw trash on de Blasio's lawn. Saturday night, I'm going to throw this trash bag on de Blasio's lawn. Dana, I just, just had one for you real quick, Dana. Obviously, we got a bit of a grudge match here to settle, but I wanted to ask you, Camaro said after this he wanted to work with you and maybe set up a boxing match with Canelo. Is that an idea that in intrigues you at all to be a part of something like that? Before you answer, Dana, this is what intrigues me is, uh, you know, I'm getting bored running through these loud mouths up here. I'm getting bored. So you know what? Ass. I said pound for pound in both sports promoted by the pound for pound best promoter in the world, Dana White. Why not? When Marty gets locked in that cage with me on Saturday night, he's going to be shitting in his pants like his name's Joe Biden. Hashtag, hashtag poopgate. Shut your mouth. They asked Shut Dana your bitch question. ass up. I didn't say you could talk. Nobody wants to hear you, man. You're throwing pay-per-views out the window, bro. Just shut up. You're a virgin. <laughs> you got another question? Yeah. No. That's the kind of suit a virgin right. would wear right up there. Yeah. Greetings, nerds and virgins! Uh, actually, Kamara, I was curious. What is your opinion on Colby's suit? You're a guy who likes fashion. What do you make of it? Of his fashion? Yeah, of his suit. Come on, man. You know. He's too ugly to wear something like this. Come on, dude. <laughs> Once Look again, that, dude. another He's man talking fuck. about another man's body, his beauty, the way he looks. Colby, is there something you want to tell us? That's the best you got, bro? Come on. That's the best you got? Come on, man. Everybody knows I get the finest mamacitas in all the land. Colby, before the first fight, it was obviously very personal, and you're saying a lot of personal things today. Has the animosity between you got worse because it took you so long to get this rematch? Yeah, because he avoided this rematch at all costs. Uncle Dana and the UFC had to force his hand. He was trying to fight other lightweights. He was trying to fight Nate Diaz. He wanted to fight anybody but this rematch. He knows who daddy is. He knows who really won that fight. If he didn't fake timeouts the first fight, I would have destroyed him, but it's okay. I'm glad better late than never. I don't live in the past. Saturday night's the future, and I'm destroying Marty Fake Newsman. Kamari, for you, is there any part of you that appreciates Colby? Because at the end of the day, this is getting more attention for the fight and making you more money. Absolutely. Like I said, I appreciate all my children, and he is my son. That's why he ran away from me some, for so long. I'm, I'm such his son. He would have ran and signed the dotted line right away if I was street Judas Masvidal, that journeyman. He loves fighting journeymen. Question for Rose back here. Go ahead. Obviously a big reception for you here in New York, but you've said for a long time, even after your first fight, you still view Wei Li as the most dangerous opponent for you at strawweight. So what specifically does Wei Li do that makes her the most dangerous? Um, just look at her resume and look what she's done to her opponents. So I got to protect myself at all times and be on my toes. Question for Wei Li. In the back right here. Uh, you you made it known after your last fight that you had felt maybe the fans had turned against you. The fans right now are pretty rowdy right now. Have you done any training to prepare for the reception you get when you enter Madison Square Garden? Uh,你上那个麦迪逊花园广场有做何任何准备，就是粉丝会对你有好或者不友好吗？我今天我今天来到这儿以后，然后看到所有的粉丝特别特别热情，然后我就很开心，我觉得。我觉得纽约是一个很有包容性的城市，这里汇集汇集了所有呃不同文化、不同文化的人，然后这里是非常有包容的，所以我觉得我很兴奋。I'm so happy to be here to see all the fans in New York. I think New York City that have so many different cultures, so many different nationalities. I I'm just so happy to be here. Right over here. Question for Justin Gaethje. Right here on your left. Hey, Justin, 
Obviously, there's a big grudge match for your teammate in the main event. What do you and Michael got to do to steal the show on Saturday? Shit. He fights the same as I do. We both fireworks from the beginning. You know, I know he's going to try to finish it first round, but he's going to turn into a wrestler real quick, talking about taking steps backwards. We'll see who's the bitch when he starts shooting for legs. Michael Chandler, your answer. Hey, listen, man. Everybody, everybody knows what happens when Michael Chandler steps into the cage. Everybody knows what happens when Justin Gaethje steps inside the cage. First fight of the night. This is why we went to the first fight of the night. We're starting off with a bang, starting off with the fireworks. Get your pay-per-view early at the show open. Justin Gaethje goes out and won. My final question. Question for Zhang Wei Li. Wei Li, what's it like sitting next to Colby Covington right now? Sorry. <laughs> feel very safe and secure. Go ahead. Question, question for Michael over here. Oh, what? Question for go Michael. ahead, you go, Schmo. Go ahead. All right. First questions for Kobe Covington. You wanted to fight Kamara Usman in this building the first time you guys fought. What makes Madison Square Garden so iconic? And when you think of iconic events, what comes to mind? Yeah, when I think about Madison Square Garden, I think about, you know, the Rolling Stones, Hulkamania. I think about... Uh, Muhammad Ali, and now Colby Covington. What do all those have in common? Legends, icons, Hall of Famers, world class. And what makes fighting in this city so great is they've had to put up with so much shit with Governor Nipple Rings and that clown too, Mayor de Blasio. I'm putting on a show for you all you Saturday night. That's why I'm the people's champ. I love you all, filthy animals. If you get your hand raised Saturday evening, do you expect the immediate rematch for the trilogy fight? I'll be ready for the trilogy right away, but after I'm done with Marty Saturday night, he's done. He's going to retire, and he's not going to want to fight me again. And Kamaru, the champion, after this fight's all said and through, how would you consider yourself among all the icons and combat sports that fought in this building? I mean, it's, uh, it's going to be spectacular. I mean, what tops what we just did in April? You know, this tops that. So this is definitely going to go down in the history books as one of the most special uh, events of my career. And last question, this is for Rose. Knowing your opponents made a lot of adjustments in her training to do something specifically pertaining to you, do you feel like you're still the hunter or you're being hunted? I'm the champion. I'm the best. Good answer. All right, who's next back there? Somebody started to go. Go Question ahead. for Michael. Uh, you know, among all the great opponents you've beaten in your career, where would a win over Justin rank? Justin Gaethje's at the top. This is, this is a dude I've wanted to fight since years before I stepped inside the octagon, years before I came into the UFC. Um, and partly because I, selfishly, I want the challenge. Selfishly, I want to compete against him. I do think he, what he brings to the octagon, the skill set that he brings, I do believe we are cut from the same cloth. As he said when he came into the UFC, show me my equal. And I was outside the UFC knowing I wanted to be here, knowing I was his equal. And now we get the opportunity and you guys get to be the beneficiary. First fight of the night at Madison Square Garden Saturday night. And a question for Whaley. Are you planning beyond this fight to continue training at Fight Ready or are you just going to kind of see how it plays out with this fight first? I'll still training in Fight Ready in Arizona. I feel like come to the U.S. is great, and I just want to learn more things in Fight Ready. I'm a reporter from Migu, China. I have a question for Wei Li. So I will address it in Chinese first directly and then English. Hello, Weili, you're welcome. I want to ask you, what do you have a chance to win on Saturday? Uh, it's a sport, of course. We have a chance to win on this fight. Yeah, I'm going to win on Saturday. 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 Ye
，呃，我我觉得在赛场上，我们需要用自己的实力，然后去战胜对手。呃，我们在星期六晚上可以看到什么样的新的张伟丽 ？What's the new version of Weili we will see on Saturday night? 我觉得会看到一个全新的张伟丽，然后看到一个二点零版的张伟丽。Thank you. So, uh, I, I think uh, you see a new 2.0, Zhang Weili 2.0 on Saturday. Go ahead. Over here. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. Um, Dana, would this rematch have happened a lot sooner, the main event, if Kobe hadn't suffered a broken jaw? Was that for me? Yes. Would you ask me? Yes, Dana. I said, would this rematch have happened a lot sooner if Kobe hadn't suffered a broken jaw. Hadn't suffered suffer a broken jaw, Junior. If you go look on the internet, the x that they Dana. put out there, hey, well, you realize it would be a HIPAA violation if he said something like that. Is that a serious question to me? <laughs> right. We'll move on to something else. Kamaru, in Jacksonville, you had this same reaction when you fought Masvidal. Ooh, Are you going to put up here. the same type of fight out of this arena. In, on Saturday at the, at the Mecca? I think, uh, you know, Jacksonville, there was something special about that. It was the first fight back with all the fans, so we had to give the fans a treat. And now, getting to actually headline an event here at Madison Square Garden, you know, I feel something special coming on Saturday night. Kamaru. Yeah, you getting your ass whooped. Kamaru. How big is the real estate that you have in this guy's head? He can't go 10 seconds without talking about you. Oh, he said it was, uh, you know, he didn't have me on his mind at all time, but I'm all he could talk about. I'm all he could talk about. I've been living up there, taking a shit up there, pissing all up there in his head. And Saturday night, I'll separate him from consciousness. Kobe. Kobe, over here. How would it feel to lose to this guy again on Saturday in front of your fans? I just want to thank all the first responders of New York and all the first responders of America. God bless you guys. Thank you for keeping us free, keeping us safe. You know, you guys have been villainized and you guys are the bad guys. That's what, how they try and paint you. But I want to tell you, you're the real celebrities of America. You're the real heroes. Thank you to the first responders. God bless you. Go ahead, you go ahead. Over here to my left. Go ahead. Uh, just one for you, Dana. Uh, what meant behind the decision to move Chandler and Gaethje to open the pay-per-view? They, they, they have the, uh, the, their coach is going back to back to back on the, on the last three fights. So he needed some space between uh, that fight and the next one, uh, the, the Rose fight. Rose, does that make you happy? Because I assume that you're the person that probably benefits the most from that since Trevor can be back there warming you up. Um... Yeah, uh, that definitely makes me happy, but we're ready for anything, so... Um, but yes, that is that is a huge uh, relief. And for you and Kamaru, will you guys even watch Justin's fight on the night? Because I imagine watching a Justin Gaethje fight is very emotionally exhausting, and do you want to go through that as you're preparing for your fight? Absolutely. Um, you know, we wanted to start the night with a bang, keep it going with another big bang, and then close it off with a big bang. That's right, baby. It's going to be a bang. We're bringing the bang to New York City, baby. Shout out to Jack O'Walk and Bang Energy. We're going to bounce this dude's head off the canvas on Saturday night. Fuck Bang Energy. Shout out to Pro Subs. Yeah, shut, shut it up. up. Dude. No one wants to hear you talk, man. And for both Colby and Kamaru, uh, it was almost two years ago today that you guys did your first press conference face-off on this exact stage. Uh, how do you think the relationship between you two has evolved since then? For Colby, you can go first. No love lost, man. He's still a cheater. You know, he's still a cheating coward, the CEO of EPO. So, you know, I'm going to expose him on Saturday night. I'm going to give the people what they want. They want this clown out of there. They want a real champion. I'm going to be a real champion for the people. It's changed a lot because I actually uh, grew a little bit of appreciation for the guy. And uh, one more for you, Rose. It was four years ago today that you won the strawweight title for the first time. Um, what does it mean to you to be back in this venue attempting to defend it during your second reign? Happy anniversary. I, I'm really excited to be here in New York City. Uh, this city has shown me nothing but love and just great energy. Uh, yeah, I really appreciate this place. I always feel like a better person uh, every time I come here. Yeah, I love you too, man. This question is for Kamaru. Yeah, go ahead. 
Obviously, this rivalry has gotten really personal, and just now, Kobe decided to bring your family in the trash talk. Win, lose, or draw on Saturday night. Are you going to shake this guy's hand? As a competitor, absolutely. After I break his, you know, the other part of his face, absolutely, I'll shake his hand. If he's still in the cage and not run away like he did last time. I ran away because I got cheated. I was fighting two people that night, Mark Notso Goddard and Marty Juice. That's why you ran I'm to the back. Don't worry, I'll get your That's dad broken you out of jail. Back. Don't worry, he'll be able to come see you. you. I'll talk to, to his parole officers. Cry. And Colby, same question to you. No matter what happens, are you going to shake Kamara's hand? No, nah, I have no respect for that guy. He's a cheating coward. Why would I respect the cheating coward and shake a cheating coward's hand? My first, my first question is for the crowd. Earlier, Colby told the champ, nobody came here to see him. I'm going to ask you, how many of you came here to see Colby Covington tonight? And how many of you came to see the champion, Kamaru Usman, tonight? Wow. Dana, for you, what is it like to be the only commissioner in sports that not only doesn't get booed, you get goddamn cheered in New York? What are they doing wrong? I don't know. I don't know. No, listen, I appreciate it. Question for Colby. Colby, great color scheme today, by the way. Colby, we are here at Madison Square Garden, the world's most famous arena, where the greatest of all time became the greatest of all time, from Muhammad Ali to GSP, right here. And in two days, you get a chance to step inside that cage and they will lock the door and you will attempt to take that belt violently from that man by any means necessary. My question to you is, if, if you were to somehow lose this fight, Will yo, you man, agree? Man. Yo, 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 one sec, one sec. Will you agree right now? Yo, one sec, one sec. You look like a bottle of Pepto Bismol. And it makes sense, because you got diarrhea at the I'm mouth, here. son. Get out of my arena. Get if out you of were to lose I'm out this here. fight. Get this clown out of the building. If you were to lose this fight, do you agree right now to allow an independent medical team to look at your x-rays from 2019 to determine once and for all whether or not that man broke your face. Yo, where'd you get your suit from? J.C. Penny? Do you Penny? agree, yes or no? I came here on a cheap fight. Do you agree, fight. yes or this no? This chain costs more than your house, your son. Your suit looks this like an airbrush, license plate. Like get this clown out of the building. Beach. Get this clown out of here, man. Why are looks you like ducking a bottle the question? Of Pepto Diarrhea of the why fucking are you mouth. The question? Diarrhea of the mouth. Get Answer this the question. If you lose the fight, will you allow the x-rays to be released to prove whether or not your jaw was broken. I want to give a special thank you to Luigi Girardi. He, he designed this great suit. It Luigi Girardi. Hey, Ricardo Suarez, you made the, the art of this, the painting. I am the king of Miami, so shout out to Luigi Girardi, best, best tailor in the world. You have another question? No? This question is for Kamaro Usman. I was here with Chad Ochocinco in April, and I tried to convince him. I tried to tell him to take you, to ride with you. Unfortunately, he didn't. But he sent me back to get his money back. So I want to know, the people from BR Betting want to know, are we going to get the job done this Saturday? I'm going to say the same thing that I said last time. You know, just like Wesley Snipe said, you always bet on black. Yes, sir. That sounds pretty racist to me. Oh, you would definitely know. Actually, I don't know about that. The only race I know is the color green when it goes in my bank account. If you had a lot of zeros in your bank account, you wouldn't be wearing that trash-ass suit. This suit costs more than your car, son, so you better sit down and stop wearing the little cheetah leopard print over there. I'm surprised you didn't bring the bed sheets back out. Your mom used to dress you up in bed sheets. What happened to those? I got more money, more than you. 
Yeah, right. I got a, a question for you, Rose. Uh, you know, in April, you were a pretty big underdog just about everywhere. And you knocked her flat on her back and knocked her ass out, and you're still an underdog. You know, what, what's your opinion on that? And people saying that maybe you didn't deserve to win that more than you just caught her. Uh, I don't really concern myself with every, what everyone else thinks. Um, from my recollection, it, I think the odds was going back and forth and stuff. But, uh, yeah, that doesn't matter to me. Appreciate that. Well, yeah. My last question's for you, Justin. Uh, the Trevor Whitman parlay is plus 300, man. You're the first fucking leg. We cashing this shit or what? I'll start it off. Come on, finish it off. You're damn right. Trevor Whitman is a genius, and he will, uh, you will see that when inside that octagon. I can't wait to fight in front of these fans, the fucking chaos, all of it. I fucking love it. Let's go. You're right, Justin. Chaos is in the building. You're a bitch. Hey, man, you, you don't have any brain cells left, man. You Nothing should probably stop talking, Shut man. You sound up. so illiterate over there. Shut the fuck up. No brain cells talking about people's family. All right, I'm going to take Shit. two more questions. You're, you're up. This is for you, Dana. All right, so there's something interesting happening in the lightweight division. Obviously, Gaethje or Chandler are going to want that shot, whoever wins. But Islam Makachev, he wants a shot, too. Now, have... He's Habib's protege. Will he get the so-called Dana White privilege? And have you consulted Habib on this? If so, and what was your last conversation like? Is that my question? That's, that's to you, Dana. What did, what did you ask me? I heard Dana White privilege. That's all I heard. The, will Islam hey. Makachev get the so-called Dana White privilege over Gaethje or Chandler for the lightweight title? What the fuck does that even mean? I, I don't even fucking understand what that means. That sounds like some bullshit to me. It might be, but yeah. it's a fair question. Have you talked to Habib about it? Is Islam getting the next shot at the title? Is that the question? Over Gaethje or Chandler, whoever wins. Because one of them are going to want it. He's ranked number two in the world. Right. He's going to... What, what are you, five? Two and five? Four. Four. Two and four are fighting on Saturday. But he says they've already had their shots, so... We don't care what he says. We don't care what he says. Saturday night, me and Justin Gaethje get after it. We're the number one contender. It's the number one contender fight. Okay, uh, Usman, is it hard to respect someone like Colby, the way he goes after personal issues? Like, how do you stay so calm? No, as a competitor, no, it's not hard. I, I, I love what he brings to the table. He pushed me, you know, last time. And, um, you know, I expect that from him this time. But as a person, he's a rotten piece of shit. And I can't believe his father let him put this persona on. He's my father's not in prison. Scamming if he everybody. If he won't scam scamming everybody don't worry, out of their Saturday night, I'll these do people it for work him. their asses off, all these blue collar Americans, and you're gonna scam them, take millions of dollars? Did you pay back all his fees? Don't worry, he needs I'll to get that shit paid back. Saturday night. Disgusting. Despicable. I'm looking at your dad over here in the corner, you know. Very respectable man, and um, I can just tell he's embarrassed each and every time you open your mouth. That's you got another question? One more. Who's got the next question? Nobody? That's it? All right. I'm going to square these guys off, everybody, for photo ops. Thanks for coming out today in New hey, York. Bob, we appreciate you.